here we are with senior Ben Sievert for the men's cross country team here at Concordia. Ben, how are you feeling about the upcoming season? Well, I'm really excited. Obviously, coming off a long summer of training by yourself, it's really great to just be back with the team. And uh, we got a lot of really good seniors this year, uh, guys like Charlie, Josh, Andrew Malin, Tim Von Baron, Matthias Wolberg, guys like that. We just got, we have a really good core this year that we've been running together for four years now. And it's going to be really exciting to see what we can do. And uh, coming off last year, finishing third in the conference when we were really hoping to win it, kind of left a bad taste in our mouths. So we're really excited to get back out there and compete for the championship this year. What goals do you have for the team this year? Um, uh, primarily, we, we would like to compete for that conference championship and win it. Um, it's going to be a tough one this year. Uh, I know Morningside, they lost Garrett Ehlers, who was the conference champ last year. But uh, they didn't lose a whole lot other than that. And then we got some uh, good runners from Doan. I know uh, Midland actually just picked up a good runner as well. So it's definitely going to be really competitive. But uh, Coach did a great job of uh, bringing in some freshmen. And uh, we, got, we got some shoes to fill from last year after losing Hayden, Bo, and Adam. But our freshmen have been working really hard the first couple weeks. And they've just been showing a lot of just guts out there on our workouts and circuits and everything. So they look like they could be ready to fill those gaps. Now, what does this year's team bring to the table that could be beneficial down the road? Um, I think one big thing is just the camaraderie of the team. Cross country is one of those sports where you just go out and run on your own with the guys for a long time. You know, you're out insane for an hour running in the country roads. And you just really get to hang out with the guys. We do a lot of outside stuff with the team hanging out. And, just the friendships that the sport brings. It's going to be really fun to just this whole season and then continue those relationships down the road with everyone. And also going off that, we got just a really great group of godly guys this year, and uh, they're really outspoken about their faith, which is cool because that, number one, that just pumps me up and gets me really excited with these guys. And uh, it's just fun because that faith will stick with us, God willing, for the rest of our lives. And that's a cool thing to see growing with these guys. Now, what are some areas that you think the team needs to improve on? Um, I think one of the biggest things is we've got a really good uh, front pack going right now. Uh, Josh and Taylor have been running really well this summer, and they've continued that through the first couple weeks of practice here. And Matthias has been up front as well, and they've been running great. And then we have a bunch, we have a really good second pack as well, but there's just a little too big of a gap there right now. And as the season progresses, I know that's going to shrink. And, that'll close, which will really help in meets, because a lot of times the meet is won or lost with your four, five, six runners. So if we can just close that gap and keep everyone working hard, which I know they will, it'll be a really good improvement for us. How does this year's team stack up against the rest of the conference? I think we have a, a good shot at winning it this year. I know, uh, like I was saying, Morningside, they only lost Garrett, who is a phenomenal runner. But uh, they've got guys like Jay Welp and Mark Abrams, who had a good outdoor season. Um, but uh, if you go down the line, a uh, number of our top guys off with theirs, uh, we're pretty even. So it'll be a close race with them. I know, you know, you take our top runner, their top, our second, their second, and it's going to be a tight one down the finish. I know uh, Doan could be a dark horse this season. Nebraska Wesleyan is just always good. They always know how to pull it together for a conference championship. And they've got Brock uh, out front this year as well, so he can be a, a tough one to beat up front. So uh, overall, though, I think we definitely are uh, in position to make a run for that title, and I think we can compete with just about anyone in our conference this year. All right, and lastly, is there anything else you would like to add? I'm just excited for this upcoming season, and I can't wait to run with the guys, and i uh, hoping everyone can make it out to the meets this year to watch us and support us, and I'm super excited my sister joined the team this year and that she gets to run with me, so I'll throw that out there for Emily. <laughs>